Hey all, I am at the Elgato BitFocus booth for a quick first look at the new Elgato Stream Deck Studio, which is a rack mounted uh, Stream Deck. But the cool thing is, it is PoE powered and you can even extend it with plugging in your existing Stream Deck into it. But what this collaboration makes so special is that BitFocus also has been working on a new software. It is BitFocus you might know from the open source software companion. And what's really cool about this one is it, for those of you who have done a lot of production with a lot of people or have been on our productions, you know how much of a pain it can be to manage different people and positions when it comes to needing to allow control, but only giving granular control, not because you don't trust people, but you don't want to give them the opportunity to screw up and want to set them up for success. So that is where BitFocus Buttons is really cool, especially in conjunction with Studio, because it allows you to create a position. Let's say we have a, a shader position, and you can give the buttons that that shader person needs specially. What's cool is it ties into the Stream Deck Studio, where you are able to give out a fob to everyone. So their preset follows them around. All they have to do is touch the fob to the NFC tag and it pulls there. But what's also great is if you're an engineer and you have, for example, a producer panel, where the producer can route their own multi-view and similar things like that. But then they call you and they have an issue with their audio routing of their master. You don't need to like go to them, talk to them, and then go back to your station to fix it. You can bring your own key fob, tap it. Now you have access to everything that you have, fix whatever is broken, and come back. That's one of the really cool things. The other really cool things that they added is they have this cross-point plugin. So a lot of the times you want to do routing, especially in larger broadcasts when you have so this is going to multiple mixes and going to multiple systems. You want to route where, what is where. They now have an interface for that. And one really cool thing is the interface supports not only one kind of router. So it's not like this is the interface only for a video hub. They have Anmos with it. They are going to work on multi-layer routing. But also right now you can have a video hub and something else, or you can have two video hubs. And if you select an output, it's going to gray out. And you can also say you don't want to see sources you can't route on the left side. So it's context-based, and it knows what you can route, which is a really neat thing. And then I'm going to show you another quick uh, feature. If you go to tags, what you can do here is you can set up a tag. So you call it VTL, mix, and loss. And, what you, and then in there, for example, we have a monitor tag. What is great is if we go back to uh, position and create this crosspoint plugin, uh, if we look over here, I can say, hey, you should only be able to use the monitor's destination. That way, now whoever gets this panel can't screw up my TX path. Uh, they can just do the monitors. Uh, of all, I think it's a really great solution. And uh, I already got the confirmation that one is shipping to me, so uh, hopefully a more in-depth tutorial and setting it up and first look soon. But this is a first look at uh, the Elgato BitFocus uh, collaboration and the Elgato Stream Deck and buttons.